my name is Thomas. Welcome to my channel. Recently, I got a scratch on my 2017 Jeep Cherokee, and to get it fixed professionally, it would cost me around $800. $700? Why are you charging me $600 for? $800, sir. No! So, I decided to repair it myself for just a little over $100. Not only did I save money, but I also have a cool new experience to share with you guys. So without further ado, here is the before and after transformation. The very first thing I did was I looked into my driver's door to find a sticker that would tell me what kind of paint I needed to use. The sticker says PSC. Then I looked online to find the materials I needed. So here are the materials that I used to repair the scratches on my vehicle. Sandpapers from 80 to 2500 grit, blue painter's tape, sandable primer, base coat collar, the PSC, gloss clear coat, plastic spreaders, and body filler. And to make the paint job shinier, I used compound, polish, microfiber towels, and polish sponges. I also needed a glass of water because it was hot and I knew I was going to be thirsty. <laughs> the total of all the materials I used was around $120. To start off the project, I inspected the vehicle and find where I'm going to be sanding. First, I used 180 grit sandpaper to sand the scratches. Then I used a clean microfiber towel to clean up the dusts. And then I mixed the body filler with the hardener to the right ratio according to the can. I looked for the deep scratches where I'm going to apply the body fillers. I used a plastic spreader to apply the body filler on the deep scratches. After letting it dry for around 10 minutes, I used an 80 grit sandpaper to smoothen out the areas that I just worked on. And then I used a 180 grit sandpaper to make it smoother. I cleaned up the area with a microfiber towel to prepare it for painting. I used the blue painter's tape to cover areas that I didn't want to be affected by the spray paint. Before I started painting, I made sure to wear a mask and goggles for safety. I am your daddy. No! And then I used the sandable primer. I applied a light coat first and waited 5 minutes to apply another coat. I applied a total of 3 coats with each coat covering more and more areas. After I was done with my last coat, I let it dry for about 30 minutes. Remember the water from earlier? I actually didn't drink it. I used it to wet an 800 grit sandpaper to use it for wet sanding. After sanding with an 800 grit sandpaper, I cleaned up the area to sand it again with a 1500 grit wet sandpaper. I also used a 2500 grit wet sandpaper to make sure the area is smooth before I start painting again. I made sure to clean out the area before I started painting with a base coat color. Just like the primer, I sprayed the area with a light coat first, waiting 5 minutes between coats, with each coat covering more and more areas. After 30 minutes, I applied a gloss clear coat. And just like the primer and the base coat color, I sprayed the area with a light coat first, waiting 5 minutes between coats with each coat covering more and more areas. After I was done painting, I let it dry overnight. The next morning, I cleaned the area with water and a microfiber towel. Then I let it dry for 5 minutes. When it dried, I dabbed some compound onto the area using a sponge. 
Using firm pressure, I polished it with the compound in overlapping passes. After five passes, I wiped it off with a clean microfiber towel. I let it dry for about five minutes and then I used a polish. Again, using firm pressure, I polished it with a polish product in overlapping passes. After five passes, I wiped it off with a clean microfiber towel. After buffing, my arms are now buffed. That's why it's called buffing. So here's the before and after. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you next time.